Otakon is an annual three-day anime convention held late July in Washington, D.C. It started in 1994 at State College, Pennsylvania, with only 350 people in attendance. Since then, it has grown exponentially to over 40,000 in attendance at the Walter E. Washington Convention Center. It is an anime lover's burning man. It's the creme de la creme. I decided to go and see what it was all about, but first, I needed to get an interview. Hey, you wanna do an interview? How's it going? Wanna do a quick interview? Quick interview? Quick interview? Quick interview? You wanna do a quick interview? Is that Kevin? Wanna do an interview? You wanna do an interview? You wanna do an interview? Hey, how's it going? You wanna do Nobody wants to do an interview. Would you want to do an interview for DCTV? It's public access. Get out of my face. After many failed interview attempts, I decided to try my luck in the game room. They had all sorts of games, from an adventure chess game, to Super Smash Bros, to whatever this Rubik's Cube game is. Have you all played together before? No. Cool. Never mind, he's too good. What's your name? I'm Douglas. My luck was running short. I felt a little defeated. I stopped by the manga library to learn a little bit more about the culture. Maybe there was something that I was missing, something I couldn't quite see. Then I sat down and I watched a whole episode of anime. And in that moment, I decided I'm going to go and interview the very first person I see. All right. We are here with. I'm Alex. Hey, Alex. Uh, where are you from? I'm from the Nova region. Yeah. Northern Virginia. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Uh, what are you most excited about for this weekend? Um, oh, wow. I'm doing it. This, I'm actually interviewing somebody. This is going so well. I can't believe this. Why, why was I having such a hard time? This is my character arc. I, I, this, this is amazing. I just, oh, oh, shoot. I should probably be paying attention to what he's saying. Hurry, ask another question and go interview more people. Uh, what's, your, what's your cosplay? Uh, government worker on his day off. My name's Zach. Uh, I'm Chad. Noah. My name's Aiden Emery. Matthew, and uh, I'm with Mint and Apple. This is an Amaro teen from Final Fantasy XIV. Ah, seven's better. That's arguable. And what do you cosplay as? Zelda. Okay, so I am Guts from Berserk. Uh, I am Hanako from Toilet Bound Hanako Kun. Um, it's sort of a comedy anime. Um, it's on Funimation, so it's not like super obscure. Uh, what are you most excited to see at Otakon this year? Um, the game room. Probably the photo shoot for the rest of the Final Fantasy XIV people. I'm honestly really excited for Artist Alley and seeing all the stuff I can just find there. What I look forward to every year is just seeing people's cosplays. I feel like that's the best part of the con. Um, I'm actually excited to see Steve Blum here. He does the voices for like Tom from Toonami and he did Spike from uh, um, Cowboy Bebop. Uh, the Masquerade. What's that? Um, it's like a cosplay um, like event. So like a bunch of people will go on stage and uh, cosplay, show off their outfits and stuff. So all the big cosplays come out for that. Okay, what's your favorite anime? Um, probably Full Metal Alchemist, I guess, off the top of my head. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> uh, Kaiji Ultimate Survivor. It's about a guy who has to gamble to save his life. And I just love Naruto's character, the whole never give up things. And I just apply it to life also. I'm not sure if you know the anime, Bell. OK, it's a kind of a musical anime that came out like a year or two years ago. Um, so you like musicals? No, but that one is really good. <laughs> and these are really cool. Where do you get your inspiration from? Uh, we go to a lot of anime conventions. So uh, when we see what other people wear, we take inspiration from that. How's it been going for you? Uh, it's going really well this year. Uh, the attendance is really good and people are really responding to our new line. So what would you say to DCTV? Come to Otakon. You heard it here first, folks. I did it. I interviewed a good number of people. 
Honestly, I'm not sure what I learned about Japanese culture, anime, or even Otakon. All I know is that it was an exciting journey and I met a lot of interesting characters along the way. And honestly, maybe that's what Otakon is all about. This has been Rick with DCTV, signing out.